Oh my gosh, collective. Listen, so I just woke up from a nap, right? And in that, I was having, oh my God, it's crazy. Me and my DM, we was talking and it was something significant about November. Hold on, my damn battery about to die. <laughs> something about November about messages on the damn phone and it was him thank like him and he had someone who was giving him advice an older gentleman i think it was um and he you know he was trying to explain to me why he chose to do what he did it, it was just weird because i'm like what the fuck is all of this shit and you know some of the dream you can't remember spirit let you remember what you need to remember I do remember this man tried to explain to me what uh, interfered our connect, what interfered with our connection. So, and that like literally just happened. So I, I feel like some of you guys there's gonna be a message in here for y'all. Mm -hmm. Separation here. Maybe we'll find out what interfered within within your connection with you and your twin. Okay. So, Divine Holy Spirit, ancestors of the highest white light, ask that you come in. Allow me to channel the energy around my collective. Please and thank you, Spirit. It's so crazy because it was like, this is what I, you know, yeah, I'm on a twin flame journey. I don't know everything about it. You feel me? But every time I have a dream about, not every time, but most of the time I have dreams about me and my twin, it always takes me back to when either I was younger or another lifetime. It's still me in his face. You see what I'm saying? It's crazy, y'all, 212 on the phone. I don't know how to describe it. Maybe y'all understand what I'm talking about. Leave it in the comments, okay? There's definitely someone's masculine out there who is wanting this separation to end. And like I said, I remember him getting advice from an older gentleman. Because the man was like, go on and tell her, man. You know, you got to do the right thing. Go on and tell her. And he showed me a phone. There was another female, a picture of another woman on the phone. And he showed me where the messages begin in November. I'm like, okay. But see, I don't remember the rest of the dream. So let's see, Spirit. What's going on here? I do remember sex magic. Sex, something had to do with sex magic. And I'm not being judgmental or nothing, but I knew it was sex magic when I seen the picture of the female. It was like, something was off with it. Like a midget or half woman have some i don't know it was something weird i was completely shocked i was like what <laughs> i was like what in the fuck is going on yeah come to find out there was sex magic me so i wouldn't be surprised if that comes out in this reading and this may not even be my story you know this may be somebody's story out there that's how spirit works and i just wake up like that and then he tell me to record so the first card out is regret Okay, it says, I know that I cannot change the past. Bottom of the deck, relationships. I am only attracted to those who serve my higher good. Okay. Mm hmm So let's see. Just what in the fuck is going on? Spirit. You have chariot at the bottom of the deck. Spirit, what is this? Regret and relationships. I seen that Ace of Wands. But Spirit, what's going on? Someone's nervous. Okay, damn they nervous as hell. I'm telling you, I'm I'm like anxious. So we just saw the chariot, which is all about movement. This six of swords is moving forward, right? This person, they want they want you, but they know you only going to deal with relationships that serve your higher good. Meaning you're not going to deal with no fuckboy shit. So in order for this person, like I said, they want the separation to end. 
uh, they have to come in here with some truth. There's regret right there too as well. Okay, so you got the high priestess. It's something hidden that you didn't know. Um, look at you popping out like that right there. Okay, so you got the Empress. Now look at these cards. You got the Tower. Ooh, the Sun coming up in the reverse with the Queen of Swords. Two of Swords with the Death and the Three of Damn Pentacles. Someone is miserable. When the Sun comes up in the reverse, miserable. Let me see what's behind the, the Empress. Because more cards fell out with the Empress. King of Pentacles Star. Okay, y'all. I just had this deck before I took a nap. And all my cards was in the upright. I'm going to tell you how I know. Because that last reading that I done, the sun card was the first card out. And it came in the upright. All my cards was in this deck in, in the upright. So spirit is, this is deliberate. Okay? Someone is miserable. Whatever it was that they chose to do made them miserable as fuck. But with this tower right here, I feel like... Tower, Queen of Swords. Y'all can't see the cards. Tower, Queen of Swords, Two of Swords, Death, Three of Pentacles. There's some, there's something ending. Where there was a collaboration before, that shit is ending now. Okay? We got to look at this. Yeah, somebody could have even married... Wow. Because the Three of Pentacles could also be a contract. And then we see the hiring from right here. And the King of Pentacles is the husband. So it's this King of Pentacles who wants this... They want to come toward this Empress energy right here with the, with the Star card. They want to heal it. Because someone's... They fucking miserable. Sun coming up in the reverse. That's why this is the person that's wanting this separation to end. But they got with someone who was not who they thought they was. This person, it, I'm going to be honest with you, it's almost like once that magic, because I really feel it strongly, once that sex magic wore off this person, it's like they looked at the person that they was with and was like, what the fuck? How the fuck did I get here? Yes, that type of shit. As I'm telling y'all, when I saw the photo, I was like, are you serious? It didn't even look, it looked like a, a grown woman with some kid, a kid, like, okay. The torso all the way up to the head was a grown woman, right? The waist all the way down was like a kid's body. It was too, it just didn't look right. I was like, what the fuck is this? It didn't even look all the way human. So that's why I'm telling you, watch. Some kind of magic gonna come up out this deck. And your person straight cutting that shit the fuck out. Tower, Queen of Swords, Two of Swords. Like, hell no. They may have even married this person under some type of spell. This is real shit, y'all. Someone's completely miserable with the death card. They're like, hell, fuck. Nah, and they moving on from it. Okay? Look what they say. At the bottom of the deck. Someone's actions is catching up to them. Someone, yeah, look, someone's not who they appear to be. It's like the only way they could get your person was to do this magic. There was no, because normally your person wouldn't have did. I feel like your person made a bunch of rat, like just rash decisions. Rushed, they could have rushed into marriage with the Three of Pentacles here and the King of Pentacles. Um, if they didn't marry this person, they rushed and moved in with this person. Just did some shit that they wouldn't normally have done. Cause they was under they was under a spell, I'm tell you now. It gonna come out. It gonna come out. Okay, spirit. Tell us what's going on right here. This is crazy. These two wanna come out. Well, we got blackmail coming out. Arrested. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Somebody about to receive some karma. Whoever they with is about to get karma for interfering. In the connection. What else, spirit? Two of Cups. There will be a reason to celebrate. But look, okay, now we got the evil eye. Wishing ill intent. That ain't it, though. I feel so much strong black magic here. Life purpose. Your person's coming towards you. You, you guys are 
destined to be, okay? But see, your person was missing the major piece of the puzzle. That's that tower. They didn't even... It's like people's family, they they family and friends could have been asking them, like, dude, you don't need no to do no shit like that. Why are you acting like that? Why are you moving like that? Why are you rushing and doing shit? You don't normally do, you don't normally act like this. Your person couldn't see all of that. I promise you, whatever was on your person, it was heavy and it was strong. But it's breaking. Death with the tower, Queen of Swords, it's breaking. And now that it's breaking, your person. They can't stop having these romantic thoughts about you. They want to get in their life's purpose. Remember, we got the damn empress out here. They have regrets, and it says that, you know, they're only attracted to those who serve their highest good. Meaning, like, he wouldn't have never got with nobody like this and tried to settle down with this person. But they was catfished. They was catfished. Someone interrupted in between these two, these two twins. Okay? And I'm going to tell you how he was catfished. It was magic. And it was heavy. It was strong. Okay? And I feel like it was sex magic. Just period. Based off my dream. All right, spirit. Signs and symptoms. So watch for the signs from the universe. Your person could have been getting signs from the universe to snap up out this shit. Okay? We have apology and angel numbers. Your person's coming towards you. Codependence. Whoever the this energy was that they settled down with was codependent on them for every damn thing. And your person, spirit guys, is ready to level them the fuck up. Because again, at the bottom of the deck, someone's actions is catching up to them. This is like this karmic shit is being found the fuck out. Sun in the reverse with the towel. It's just like one day your person just woke up and was like, what the fuck am I at? How in the fuck did I get here with you? What the fuck you mean we married? Like like that, y'all. I'm not even bullshitting. I'm for real. It's almost like this man had done signed contract. He done. He wasn't posed to with the two of swords right there before the three of pentacles. He signed something he wasn't supposed to sign, but the man was under something, and so they held that shit up over his head with the black male right here. But also, this person that catfished your person, they about to receive some karma with this arrest. Yeah, they might even go to jail. Whatever paperwork he signed, nobody in their right mind, I don't know what this paperwork was, but nobody in their right mind would have did this. The man was under something, or woman was up under something. Take it where it resonates. Because my dream, when I seen the picture of the girl, I was like... I don't really want to tell y'all what I saw because I don't need nobody saying, oh, this bitch is sad. You being judgmental. No, I'm not. It was how my spirit guide showed it to me. Um, it, Okay. I'm going to tell y'all. Y'all going to talk shit anyway. You know, those of you who is like that. So, spirit showed me a picture of a female who was in a wheelchair. A handicapped female. And half of her body... It did not belong. I do not know. I just know what I saw. Okay. And it was like no person. And I'm not saying. So don't take this the wrong fucking way. Y'all damn. I'm not saying people cannot fall in love with handicapped people. Okay. I'm telling you this is someone who purposely catfished the fuck out this man. Now I don't believe this is my story. I don't. I believe I'm having this dream because somebody here need to know what the fuck happened. But that tower in the sun, the death, somebody person just snapped up out of this shit. Like, ain't no fucking way I would have married you. Ain't no way I would have invested you in you. Like, what the hell going on? What else, spirit? Rumors. It, I also feel like this was family and friends talking about your person. Like, man, she got him acting like a damn fool. Did you see he, You see how he giving her his whole check and this, that, and the third? A lot of people was talking about that shit. What else, dude? Like, it, this is crazy. Copycat. Copycat, now. What did I say? Somebody was catfished. You are the real deal. And you got this copycat motherfucker. This is the one that he invested in. Okay? You also got obsession peeking out the damn dick. So, this person, this copycat in, uh, individual could have been obsessed with you. A person, hell, she could have been obsessed with you. 
collective. This could have been somebody who went after your person because they were obsessed with you. It's motherfuckers out there like that. Okay? It was some trickery shit going on. I'm just going to be honest with you. Something could have happened around October, November. Also, in my dream, I was seeing them dates. Something could have happened around October and November. I'm hearing sacrifice. What the fuck? Spirit, what else do we need to see? This is crazy. <laughs> New Year's. Childish. Guarded. Behind the scenes. Someone's spirit, guys, is having to work extra hard. Someone's spirit, guys, is having to work extra hard behind the scenes because... For some of these people, it's their it's someone that they had children with, but they've are they had been let this person go. They had been stopped dealing with this energy because this energy that hasn't grown. This person is very childish. And the shit that your person was doing with this copycat, ain't no way they would have done any of that under normal circumstances. There was something, I mean, the card says he was catfished. This person was a copycat. Damn, y'all can't see. This person was a copycat okay so obsession so this person was either obsessed with you and went after your person collective or they was obsessed with your person either way it had your person acting out of character way out of character okay so that was weird thanksgiving november that's this that's what i saw in my uh in the phone it's like the pictures start uh, the text messages the one that I read, it said, well, come and get me then. Where you at? Come and get me. He was acting so <clears throat> obsessed. Yeah. Thank you, spirit. He was acting so obsessed with this energy. Like, where you at? What, what time you going to get here? Come get me. Come and get me. And that, those messages started in November. That's what I said at the beginning of the, of the reading. Because that's what I remember in my dream. So, y'all need to think back. When did your person start acting crazy? Somebody here is just fucking childish and knew that they couldn't get this person no other way. And so they did some shit. They definitely did some shit. Again, this is the third time this card is, it says, someone's actions is catching up to them. Period. There it is right there. I know what I be feeling, child. I know what I be feeling. Okay? But you see that angel number card poking out. Your person, because what, what did the card say? Behind the scenes, someone's spirit, guys, is having to work hard as hell. Because this shit is strong. It was strong. I don't know what they did to your person, but it was very, very strong. Anyway, see, let me show you. Yeah, and that was warned not to do it. That was warned not to do it. Because, see, your person was trans, they were going through some type of transformation. Your person was growing, and the person who was doing the magic was not. And so, like I was saying, there's no way this energy would settle down with someone like this and marry someone like this and invest in someone like this. And that's how Spirit was showing it to me in my dream. Like, there's no way, and we saw the codependency card. There's no way someone would marry someone who was childish and couldn't do anything for themselves. You see what I'm saying? I'm not I'm not meaning in the sense that she's handicapped like medically. I'm saying it in a sense. There's no way a grown woman or a grown man would marry someone um who has no intentions on putting in anything in the relationship. She has no intentions on working. Putting nothing in. Like Spirit said, the man was completely catfished. Catfished, okay? He was supposed to be getting with this. And this was someone. This is you collected. I'm sorry. Hold on. Wait. This is you. But since that, since I held that up like that, that was, that had something to do with it. But with this mirroring, you're this person's twin. Okay. Either someone was obsessed with you or someone was obsessed with him. And as we see, she acted as if she was the empress. She really did. All that shit is catching up to her, okay? This woman was obsessed with somebody. She was obsessed with somebody. And she put a lot of magic on this person and had that person obsessed with them. I did a reading a month ago. It's called Obsession to the Max. 
I feel like I think that reading had some magic to do with it as well. But yeah, with this magic, because I was reading those text messages coming from my person, and and he was like, okay, well, what yeah, what time you come? When you come to get me? Come pick me up. And just you know, like he could, he was obsessed, obsessed, totally out of character, totally out of character. Okay, so with this blackmail codependency, this uh, copycat energy is about to receive some type of karma for interfering in this connection. Some of them may physically go to jail because they done made this person sign something. They done made this person sign something that he may have to prove. You know, he may have to go to court and shit. Like, man, ain't no way I would have signed that. Like, somebody could have signed over every damn thing. You know, uh, for some of y'all, he's showing up King of Pentacles. So, for some of you guys, this uh, trickery person got your person I see the contract right here to sign him over every damn thing like married her without a prenup or something like that he's showing up king of pentacles she's showing up codependent that means she ain't got shit okay but she got him to marry him so it's like when he leave somebody gonna try to take everything type shit okay so it, it's just weird how it happened. Even had people out there talking about it. Like, man, you see how dude just did that shit out of nowhere? I don't know what's going on here. What else, spirit? Yeah, now this person came. It's coming back on them. This is clear your mind and relax. She came. She is nervous and stressed, okay? Everything that she was sending towards your person and you, it's coming back on them. I said somebody about to get some karma for that shit because your person releasing that he's about to get a new life that was spirit say the man or woman whoever this is for y'all is getting a complete level up they getting on their right path they coming toward the empress because they was like i'm talking about bad right out of their own feelings this person <laughs> y'all could have been talking to this person listen to me now <clears throat> you and this person could have been dating and just acting nowhere shit stopped they was completely catfish. And when I tell you this black magic shit was strong, 222 on the phone, 2222 on the phone, that shit was strong that this woman had over your person. Like, what in the fuck? Before you know it, before he knew it, he was signing shit over, doing shit that he just wouldn't do. Because normally, someone who's mature, this is all this is saying with this growth card, someone who's mature, what the fuck they going to invest in something like this for? Huh? Someone's acting childish. Who? Why? But that's what they did. They invested in it, honey. Married them. Some of these people married this person with no damn prenup. Some of these people might lose all their shit. Yeah, this person wasn't nothing but fucking blockages, obstacles. But that's why they about to receive that karma. Because they purposely interfered with this connection. The sun is in reverse. The sun is the best card in tarot. Happiness, abundance, all of that shit. Sun reversed with the death and the star. Somebody finna go through it. Yeah, hidden true. <clears throat> about addictions and shit. A lot of shit came out about this person. Yeah, spirit said somebody need to clear their space. Because I'm telling you, this is real. This shit is real. I felt it. I can't make it up. That was at the bottom of the deck. Spell work. Someone's casting spells. Black magic. Someone's using dark magic. That's what I'm telling you. It's like when your person started to get these um, angel numbers from spirit. That's that tower. It's like he just woke up and was like, what the fuck? Is, how the hell I get here? What you mean I done signed over this, that, and the third? Somebody's realizing that the shit that they own, they no longer own that shit solely. That they share it with this childish individual right here. Somebody just cannot believe what in the fuck has happened. They just cannot believe what has happened. And it's like they finding out more and more and more. There's still some hidden truths that's coming out. Mm-hmm. It's coming out. And Spirit was just like, I don't know how, bro. I don't know how. She, I mean, I see it, but I just don't understand, like. And it happened fast. It happened so fucking fast. Spell work, black magic, and just made the man do dumb. He was just doing dumb shit after dumb shit after dumb shit. Had people talking about him. People was thinking that this person was on drugs. People were thinking that your person 
with this rumors card. Yeah, they was thinking that he was on drugs because of the uh, decisions that he was making. It didn't make no sense why he was acting irrational like that. Okay? Okay, Spirit. This is not going to be aired by the store, but take it where it resonates. Okay? Now, what's this that fell out? Therapist. You have upgrade right here trying to show itself. You have humor. So whoever this is that was using these spells, I feel like it's two people working together. Could be a mother or daughter. Could be the girl and her friend. But it's two motherfuckers who think that shit funny. It's not. Them hoes gonna need a therapist by the time this shit's over with. Yeah, they gonna need a therapist. Because either way it go, your person is about to get that upgrade. It's been prolonged too damn long. Yeah. There's no way that this person under just normal conditions would have invested in this childish, uh, childish ass energy. And this childish person know that. This copycat energy, she know that shit. That's why she had to catfish this person. Then put, put uh, sex magic on it, black magic, spell word. You know, she had to do all that shit because she knew ain't no way he would have done that. Ain't no way he would have married her that way. She's, this person's very codependent. It's just period. Oh, my God. Let me get... What we at? 26 minutes. Spirit, is there any more? So, now your person is protecting themselves from that childish energy. And they're moving forward. Like I said, they're going to get that upgrade. And with their regret here, I feel like your person could be coming towards you to explain what they understand of it. They may not even understand it all. There's still some hidden truth, as we see. But they're going to come and explain what they do understand. But I feel like, Collective, you understand more than they do. Now you do because of this reading. You're going to get this person. You might They just might be like, I don't know. I don't know what I was thinking. Because that's the, the best way they can put the shit together and make sense of it. Like, I don't know what the hell I was thinking. I lost myself. That's the only thing your person can say. Because they don't know what they were thinking. Because they were put in this position to where they couldn't fucking think for themselves. Okay? I'm so serious. People don't believe in this shit, but it's right here. These cards don't hit the table for nothing, baby. What else, Spirit? Uh, yeah, look at this. Ten of Cups, Four of Swords, with the lovers. There's a deep connection between you and your person. Like I said, y'all be mirroring each other. And I feel like this happened right just out of nowhere. Because this person was still having thoughts about you, mirroring you, meaning they were still wanting you, loving you, caring for you. And this energy came in, just had your person obsessed with them. Out the fucking nowhere. You're like, what the fuck? Okay, so with the four sports here, I feel like your person's been trying to heal a little bit after laying that other shit to rest, but they're coming towards you because whatever they was in, mm-mm. But you bring this person ten of cups. I'm telling you, somebody, it's almost like against their will. They thought when people was trying to tell them, because it's right here, when people was trying to tell your person, this king of pentacles, Hey, man, why are you doing all? He thought he was thinking for himself. He wasn't. He wasn't. And he, he really might need to go see a damn therapist. After, you know, somebody signed over some shit. Some important shit. And I feel like it got something to do with money. Could be their house. It could. She, he could have added this childish copycat motherfucker onto a lot of shit. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, yeah, for somebody here, they definitely went and got married. It's out of the blue. Come on, fuck it, let's do it. Let's go get married. It's crazy, y'all. Yep, sure did. Sure did. Because he was under bondage. I can't make it up. Somebody was under bondage. Stuck under these damn spells. Mm -mm -mm. It's, it caused him to just act irrational Just without thinking Just fast Like <sighs> Baby But with this eight of cups here I'm telling you I don't know what happened y'all That sun I'm showing y'all how that fell out Let me get the card Death Tower Queen of Swords Sun in the reverse With the two of swords it like somebody woke up and said, who in the fuck is you? And why in the fuck is you here? Type shit. 
and it was because of the guidance you know with this behind the scenes someone's spirit guys was working really really hard because the man just couldn't see it it happened so fast he couldn't see it so this person's spirit guides have been giving them guidance with angel numbers and stuff and they were able to come up out this shit, baby mm, mm, mm. and that's why they card someone's actions is catching up to them yeah this karmic this is a karmic period this karmic is about to receive some karma she is not ready for and also let me tell y'all here this is what the conversation is going to be. Thank you, Spirit. That's what the conversation is going to be. Someone's coming towards you. They're going to tell you that they're married. Damn, my phone about to die. Shit. They're going to tell you that they're married, but because of that paper that they signed, if he leave, she get everything. She get everything. I promise you. I, I promise you that's what this conversation about to be about. So now he's like, really got to get him a lawyer. Really got to figure out how he's going to win this case. Some of them might walk away with nothing. But I guarantee you, she, she, somebody's sitting here thinking that shit funny. It's not going to be funny, baby. Somebody's going to motherfucking go to jail. Somebody's going to get them a good-ass lawyer and somebody's going to go to jail. They're going to realize there's no way. They're going to look at all the things that add, added up the months prior to him signing that damn piece of paper. Because somebody signed a fucking contract. Somebody signed the damn contract. You see how they heavy clothes over this person? I just feel like there was something on your person. There's something on him or he wouldn't have done it. And he about to come and tell you you don't love this person at all. The son was in reverse. You're, you are what make this person happy. But he can't get out of it right now. Can't get out of it right now. He got to go to court. Y'all, my damn charger is all the way over there. Let me see. Something told me to plug up. I might do a part two relationships again that was the, the second card out relationship there's no way this person was looking at you wanted to be with you this other energy came in with some uh black magic y'all listen to me now when i saw a photo of that person i was like what the fuck is going on cupid you a powerful light worker manifest manifestation powers and parents at the bottom energy work i told you that what i'm saying had the man up under some spell work. This man had his, he already had his heart set on somebody. You hear me? And you get, you get energy work with manifestation powers. This man didn't know what the fuck was going on. They didn't know what was going on. Fucked up his whole base chakra. Spirit is telling this man to cut the damn cords. Some of these people, um, it's their baby mamas. They got families with these motherfuckers. I'm trying to tell you. Mm-mm-mm. Wow. Yeah, I cut it like that. Relationships again and Archangel Michael. Archangel Michael is a powerful archangel. And he helps with protection. He's the angel of protection. And so the card says you're work you're you're working very closely with a powerful archangel who's protecting and guiding you through this situation. Yes. Because your person is trying to let go of the freaking past. With this let your past go, they trying to let go of the past. But there was something that this man signed while he was up under this bullshit. And that's what she holding over his fucking head. Man was shocked when he found out he did that shit. I'm telling y'all, it's not going to be everybody's story. But for somebody here, that shit is real. It's real. My dream was just, it was bizarre. I'm like, what in the world? This don't make no sense. This makes no sense. Why would you do something like that? Yeah, somebody got into a marriage. It's almost like they get that divorce, she get half or not. If she don't get half of it, she get all of it. He did something foolish. Did something real foolish. Missing the major piece of the puzzle now. Fucking with this copycat individual. Mm-mm-mm. Baby, that's what I have for y'all. I got like 5% of my phone. I don't want it to cut off without me saying my buys, Okay. It's your girl, Spirit Sag. I love y'all from the bottom of my feet. If this is your story, leave it in the comments. I mean, hell, you could... This could be somebody around you. But I feel like this is a twin flame uh, situation. And your person was up under this shit right here that stunted his growth. It just stopped it. Just like, what the fuck? He never saw that shit coming. Never saw it coming. I feel like it's somebody's baby mama did this to them. He never saw it coming. She was working up on his ass. And he was, excuse me, he was still going over there visiting the kids, not knowing the whole time she was working up on his ass. She knew. With that obsession card, 
she was obsessed with you and him. So she started putting in that fucking uh, magic and got his ass obsessed with her. And people in the family was like, friends was like, what are you doing? Like, shit crazy. He thought it would thank her for herself. No, the fuck he would. She, ooh, for somebody here, this person even had your person wishing you evil. Yeah. Yeah. Had, you had your person talking shit about you, wishing ill intent on you. Damn, bro. That's so fucked up, y'all. It's gonna come out. There was an older gentleman in my uh, dream that was telling this man, you got to tell the truth. You got to tell the truth. As far as he know it. Okay? And if these people try to plan and plot something against you, your person's coming to tell you the truth about it. It could have been under spell work trying to and planning and plotting against you. Whoever you this is, this is like Aries, Emperor Energy. Someone who's stubborn and stuck in their ways. Wow, yeah. This shit here's sad. Yep, that call was over. Yep, he gonna be shocked. He could be, like, he could have started hating you, thinking that was his own fucking feelings, and it wasn't. She was projecting. She was projecting on him. Had the man under magic. Had him under magic. I'm gonna be honest with you. It's almost like she, they, it's two other women working with your person, or working the magic on your person. It was like they was going to fill his head with shit about you and try to get him to come towards you saying that he loved you and wanted to be with you to hurt you. It's not going to go down like that, though. And in fact, somebody going to fucking jail. Watch how this shit play out, y'all. Be on y'all P's and Q's. Yeah, be on your P's and Q's. This Aries, the Empress was out there. This emperor going to be shocked to find out that his whole shit was up under a spell. Okay? And what's behind that? Yeah, I'm leaving that shit the fuck behind. Why? It's cuffing season, baby. And I told you with that toxic family, I told you it was somebody they had kids with. But it's also like a sister or a mother-in-law or something like that that's working with this baby mama. Or this karmic. It's just period. Mm, mm, mm. Alright, that's what I have for y'all. It's your girl Sag. I love y'all from the bottom of my feet. It's not everybody's story. So just take what resonates. But if it's yours, go in the comment section and let me know what's going on. Tell me what my story meant for y'all. I mean my dream. Tell me what my dream meant for y'all, okay? Till next time.